old chaps on location filming for the time being, as you can tell I'm like useless. If you can hear me hopefully, because everyone's walking around and I get self-conscious. This cheeky chappy over my shoulder is one of the two men nowadays credited with saving the nation, Air Marshal Keith Park. He was instrumental in the siege of Malta, the sweat in 1942, replaced on Churchill's instructions after the battle was won in October 1940. One of New Zealand's greatest exports, I think. Addendum to that little missive I did by the Keith Park statue. Uh, the Keith Park statue was unfailed, uh, it says, on the 70th anniversary of Battle Britain Day, 15th of September 2010 to you and I. Battle Britain Day is still, and will always thus be September 15th. The only trouble is, as the years go by, it's not really observed as it was. I mean, the first one after the War 45 had an immense uh, display of aircraft led by Dougie Bader. Bader, Douglas Bader, 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 um, and you know each year is gradually diminished of course as things change and the world changes with it, um, and today according to the Times the last surviving member of the battle, uh, John Hemingway, is 101, so, but Keith Park statue um, is part of what I self dub the pantheon of heroes or the imperial past if you like because you've got franklin of the northwest passage and captain scott a couple of others who i always forget but i only ever really look at captain scott for the most part or keith park for various reasons but they're there either side of waterloo place uh just up from the or whichever way you come from by the uh, the athenaeum and travelers club and the duke of york column out from the Mall and Carl Gardens and so on and so forth. A uh, Keith Park statue is a smaller representation of a statue that was placed on the fourth plinth in Trafalgar Square many years ago, I guess about 2008 now, when we were going through this phase where there was nothing on it and the other three plinths obviously have. Um, and uh, Keith Park was one of the many things that placed there. We had somebody a few people, we, I think somebody wrote poetry, somebody just shouted a lot. Uh, there was other things, I forget what's on it now, it was the an implacable foe shall not pass or something, something, a representation of something that was destroyed by ISIS, Islamic State, whatever you want to call those bastards, in Syria. And um, it vanished to parts unknown, and, um, as far as I knew anyway. And I had a... a Oh yeah, 2010, even though I was out of work, uh, I scraped some money to get off in combination of what I had for job seekers and bum gave me some money. Uh, I went off to RAF Hendon, the museum in other words, to look uh, for the Battle Britain 70th. And they, um, after they were meant to fly a spit and a hurricane over, but the spit turned out the hurricane had sprung a leak or it broke down somewhere. A shame, we only have, uh, there's only three uh, worthy hurricanes, which is why the Battle of Britain film looks like it's over representing the Spitfire. Uh, and why, by the way, if you do watch that film, it's the Polish sequence when Barry Foster famously shouts, Cry it! No, silence! in Polish. Uh, you see, well, it's, I think it's meant to be Barry Foster's hurricane or one of the other, one of the Polish pilots, sort of in the foreground, and then I think another hurricane and another, well, basically the three. And then you see like a squatter pair, and they painted up one or two BF 109s, the Spanish 109s, the Bush ones, in RF colours. <laughs> I got a picture of it in a book somewhere. It is, if you know your aircraft and, and the war, it's eye watering. So anyway, um, I went out there, and also I was, I was hoping to meet Patrick Bishop. Uh, so I think I said in a previous video, I got my book, Fighter Boy, signed by him. And uh, he wondered why I was in the state, and I said my dissertation, and, it, and you know, the spine's red. It's not like I, I don't treat books poorly if I can help it. And um, 
you know, before in between the book sign and the aircraft, I was poking around, and there's a mosquito, and there's a Lancaster, and there's um, a Lysander, which I was quite chuffed with, and a Stuka, and a one, uh, I think there's a 262 there. Um, anyway, and sort of like in a shadow, almost forgotten, was the Keith Park statue from Trafalgar Square, and he, and he saw it, actually, I'm going to try and put a picture, if I can, um, he sort of put it and he's looking at it and he says this used to be at Trafalgar Square and they've just shoved it into a corner. And that was 2010 so hopefully it's in a more prominent position. But yeah, uh, Keith Park was New Zealander and after he lost his job as head of 10 Group, uh, he eventually wound up, he wound up shortly in Malta and was instrumental in his way in the siege. And uh, he had less to work with to begin with than he had as num head of number 10 Group, number 11 Group. <laughs> 10 group was flipping Lee Mallory number 11 group my apologies but um, he's a personal hero of mine and some would say he's one of two men the other being Dowden head of fire command that saved Britain because uh, 11 group took the brunt could have broken and um, Barrel Broom was one so that's Keith Park for you so thanks awfully